Welcome everyone, my name is Jan Weiler from the Photogrammetry and Robotics Lab and in this video I'm going to talk about our approach dealing with the joint plant and leaf infant segmentation on field scale UV imagery using fully convolutional neural networks. Monitoring of fields and breeding plots is critical for plant scientists and breeders. This process involves a frequent visual assessment of individual plants at several stages. However, in real field condition, this assessment is conventionally done manually and thus time consuming. A key objective is to assess the number of individual plants on the field and to analyze individual leaves of each plant since this information directly correlates to the growth stage as shown in the bottom figure. Vision-based systems, on the other hand, offer the potential to monitor fields in an automated fashion based on images of unmanned aerial vehicles at a large scale more frequently. The input to our approach is an author mosaic which covers entire fields as shown in the following figure. Based on the author mosaic, we perform a leaf instant segmentation for all crops as shown here. Note that we only show the contour of each instant segmentation mask for reasons of clarity. Simultaneously, we associate all leaves to their associated plant to compute a plant instant segmentation. This method provides plant scientists and breeders with crucial information for detailed field monitoring. We propose a bottom-up method based on a convolutional neural network with two heads. First, we feed the input image to our network. We train the upper head of our network via cross-entropy to perform a semantic segmentation of crops, weeds and soil as shown in the following figure. Based on this information, we extract pixels that belong to crops and in the following perform the instant segmentation only for those. In order to perform an instant segmentation, the lower head of our network predicts two set of offset vectors. We train the network such that the first set of offset vectors points for each pixel of a crop leaf towards the center of the associated leaf instance. In the following, we show the predicted offset vectors by blue lines and emphasize that they point towards the centroid of each leaf instance. Additionally, we train the network such that the second set of offset vectors points for each pixel of a crop plant towards its associated stem position. In the following, we show the predicted offsets by red lines and emphasize that they point towards the stem of each plant instance. Next, we exploit both offset predictions of our network to perform an automated post-processing procedure to compute the final leaf and plant instance segmentation. First, we rely on the predicted offset vectors of crop leaves to estimate the spatial position of leaf key points and define these key points as instance representatives. During this procedure, we aggregate a heat map where each pixel of a crop leaf, translated by its associated offset vector, casts a vote to its position. Accordingly, a high number of votes in the heat map indicates the position of a leaf key point, as illustrated on the right hand side. We perform the same procedure based on predicted offset vectors of crop plants to estimate the spatial position of stem key points, which are representatives of plant instances. In the following, we show the location of predicted leaf key points and stem key points, illustrated by blue and red circles respectively. Next, we perform the instant segmentation of crop leaves by assigning each pixel translated by its offset vector, shown on the left hand side, to a specific key point, shown in the center figure. We define the set of pixels assigned to a specific key point as the mask of this instance, shown on the right hand side. However, we discard pixels which have a distance larger than the defined rejection radius illustrated by blue circles around each key point in the center figure. Finally, we employ the second set of predicted offsets to group each previously detected leaf instance to a specific stem key point by a similar procedure. Thus, we define the instance segmentation of a plant as the union of its associated leaves. We provide more details in our paper. We evaluate our approach on images of sugar beet fields and show that our approach achieves more accurate instance mask in comparison with mask RCNN. Thus, our approach provides more detailed information for field monitoring. You can find more information and quantitative results in our paper. Thank you for your attention.